All right, hi guys, just wanted to go over a few things today. We're gonna discuss key number three, emotions and sleep. We'll be discussing sleep on the next episode, but today our emotions specifically about stress and we're gonna do it 911 style. Hi guys, just wanted to discuss a little bit uh, about key number three, and it's about emotions and sleep. Uh, the next episode, we're gonna be covering all about sleep, some fascinating stuff, especially if you're a firefighter or shift worker, police officer. And, uh, but emotions is the other part of key number three. And specifically, I just wanted to address today's stress and how it affects you. <clears throat> and I just wanted to get a little bit personal in my own life. I know a lot of times I'm trying to do teaching here and share the information that I learned, but the, when it comes time to stress, it's not an easy subject. It's difficult because you got to deal with it. Sometimes you got to deal with it alone. Um, you know, being a lieutenant for fire rescue, it, it weighs on you. Uh, tomorrow is my last shift before I retire. I'm still going to be working another five years, but it is nice to know that I've kind of reached the end of one plateau. Uh, they give us an option to work an extra five years. I'll be 55 March 2nd. That's in a couple of days. And uh, so I'll be separated uh, from the county and from something I'd love to do at age 60. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it because the amount of stress that comes along with the job. I mean, there's a part that you love and then there's that part that stresses the hell out of you. And it's not easy. You know, I, at the age 55, I got a two and three year old again. I got three grandkids. So I'm dealing with all those things. And then at the same time, you're dealing with work and the stress that comes along with that. And then I, for me, the most difficult thing as I've gotten older is the not sleeping. And so the stress of not only the job and having to perform uh, for people because you know they're counting on you. They're calling you at their worst moments and you gotta show up ready for every call. And, uh, and so it's a little bit difficult. It, it, uh, you know, you come home and it usually takes me that whole first day to recover. And then on this second day, you know, you're trying to get things done and uh, it's very easy to maybe get in a bad mood, to maybe snap at the people you love. Uh, and it's a little bit difficult. There's no easy answers. Uh, I rarely resort to this. This is a, a little black label. And uh, this is probably my third drink uh, this year. So we're at the uh, we're in February. So about three drinks in two months. But it, it it's something I don't like to resort to. But when you when you have a lot on your mind and things are going on, it, it's stress. I mean, what do you what are you gonna do, right? So I know a lot of you guys out there are dealing with stress. I'm dealing with stress. You know, I, I can't complain. I got a pretty good life. I got two beautiful children. I got a wonderful wife. Uh, but no matter how nice things appear on one side, it's that it's that stress. It's the burden. It's the worries. It's the concerns. And uh, and it weighs on you. And there's really not too much you can do. You just got to deal with it. And then uh, sometimes you don't deal with it the right way. Sometimes it's hard to get that anxiety out. Uh, you do exercises, you eat properly. I mean, thank God I'm doing those things. I can't imagine uh, for people who aren't eating correctly, who aren't exercising, who don't have different outlets, it's gotta be even tougher. And uh, I know that suicide is, is high among, uh, you know, firefighters, police officers. And uh, it's something to be concerned about. It's something that we should all be weary of and, and pay attention to. Um, this is not a cry for help, by the way, but it is just me being honest that uh, the stress is tough. It's tough. I mean, I consider myself a tough guy. I consider myself uh, having it all together, uh, but it still doesn't mean that the, the stress doesn't take a toll on you. It, it does. I would be lying to you if I told you it didn't. I mean, if I, if I was financially set, I'd work my last shift tomorrow and uh, I'd be gone. Uh, just because of the, the amount of stress that the, that work puts on you. And it's something I love to do, believe me. I love doing it. I love going to work. I love working with the people that I work with. Um, I love the job that I do. I love the fact that I'm able to help people. But uh, the combination of all these things put together is a pretty heavy burden at times. So 
it's something you can't get away with uh, or something that you can't get away from as you get older. It, it takes its toll, it weighs on you. I mean, after 25 years of doing this, it's, it gets tough. But uh, the good news on the good, on, the, on the good side of that is I am looking forward to another five years. I am looking forward to uh, you know, excelling in, in the areas that I feel that I'm, I'm good at. Um, I hope to leave a, a good legacy behind you know, uh, with the guys that I'm working with, the younger guys, the guys that I'm training. Uh, hopefully I leave enough behind so that it's it's something that carries on you know I've learned a lot from the past firefighters that I've worked with you know other guys that helped train me helped create an impression upon me even when I was a police officer and it, especially now as a firefighter uh, they they mattered you know I know a lot of guys when they leave you know we have this saying that when you leave the department just carries on like if you were never there and and Part of that's true. I mean, we just, everything keeps moving along. I mean, it's like a, it's like a wheel that's going downhill. I mean, it might lose a spoke here and there, but it's still gonna keep rolling downhill. And uh, so the department continues with or without us, but hopefully we make a difference in the positive direction. Hopefully we can make sure that it's steering in the right direction and that uh, our input matters and it makes a difference. So hopefully I'm, I'm making some sense out there uh, to you guys. And uh, yeah, you know, these little guys right here. Yo, yeah. Yeah. You want to say hi? Yeah. Come here. Come here and say hi. Say hi. Yeah. So, I mean, it'd be great to be able to spend more time with these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Be able to great to be able to spend more time with these guys and hang out, Dying right? Devil. Yeah. E. Give me a kiss. E. Yeah, give me a kiss. Okay, I love you. All right, guys, this is just a quick little talk, just sharing with you some of my feelings about how to deal with stress, how stress affects you. Uh, it affects me just like it does everybody else, sometimes more, sometimes less, but. What are we gonna do? We just gotta keep moving on. Hopefully you've got good family, you've got good friends, you've got community, you've got church, you've got prayer, uh, you've got your interests, you've got your hobbies, you've got the things you like to do. I love doing this, for instance, uh, you know, the YouTube channel, uh, just being able to share the information that I think is critical to having a healthy... I want this green, Daddy. Yeah? Okay, so I just wanted to share with you, take a few minutes out guys, and just share that uh, no matter what, we are going through our struggles, and um, we just gotta hang in there, and just continue to do what we can to do the best that we can. Hopefully this makes sense. If you guys like it, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And until we see each other again, stay safe and stay healthy.